Hey guys, welcome to my 1 to 99 fishing guide. So in this guide, I will be breaking down each of the XP boosts that you will want to have when training fishing efficiently. And I'll also be going through each of the best training methods for the skill. In the description down below, you will be able to find the timestamps so you can jump back and forth between each section. So check that out if you are interested in that. Anyway guys, I really hope you do enjoy and let's begin the video. So starting off with just the general XP boosts, first off we have the wise perk. So this can be added to a fishing rod, for example, and it can give you a one to 3% XP boost up to a maximum of 50,000 XP per day. There's also the Wisdom Aura, which will give a 2.5% XP boost. You have the Torsal Incense Sticks. These give a 0.5% up to 2% XP boost. There's also the Clan Avatar XP boost, which is 3 to 6%. You can use your Pulse Cores and Cinder Cores, which is 2 to 10% XP boost. You also have the Refer a Friend Scroll, which will give you another 10% XP boost. And of course, Double XP Live, which will give you that double XP. Um, so you can train the fishing skill any which way with double XP and it will work. So starting off with the different outfits that you can get for fishing, you do have just the regular fishing outfit, and this can be seen on the left. So there are four pieces to it. Um, and the fishing out outfit, it does increase the base amount of experience gained when fishing. So there are four pieces in the set. Each piece will grant a 1% experience boost. And if the entire set is worn, the player will get an additional 1% XP boost for a total of 5%. The outfits can be purchased for 140 reward tokens each from the Fish Flingers minigame, or you can pay 560 tokens for the entire outfit. Now there is also a few other um, outfits as well. There are the shark outfits. So you do have the tiger shark, the burnt shark, um, and then just the regular shark outfits. So there are three different sets and they can be combined into the Fury Shark outfit. So you do get a plus 5% chance um, of catching fish while you are wearing this. And it does inherit the XP boost from the fishing outfit. Now, if you do combine these three um, into the Fury Shark outfit, you will get a plus 7% catching chance while fishing, a 10% chance to catch an extra fish, and a 50 to 60% chance to save bait while fishing. Next, we are going to look at some other XP boosts. So these are more so related to fishing. First off, you do have the Call of the Sea Aura. So this aura has five tiers to it. The first tier costing 5,000 loyalty points, and the last tier costing a cumulative 230,000 loyalty points. It will grant you a 3 to 15% increased catch chance when active depending on the tier. There's also the Juju Fishing Potion or the Perfect Juju Fishing Potion. This does increase the player's success chance when fishing by 5%. And it will grant the player a 1 in 3 chance to catch a barren shark instead of a regular shark if you are fishing in the, th the shark location. The Whopper Baiting Scrimshaw, this will give you a chance at gaining more XP while catching fish. So basically this Scrimshaw should increase your XP rates by up to 6% depending on the fish you are catching. For Summoning Familiars, you have the Granite Crab and the Ibis. Um, now they are both useful since they grant an invisible boost to your fishing level by 1 and 3 respectively. The Granite Lobster grants an invisible four fishing levels, and it will also forage raw sharks and raw swordfish, granting 10% of the XP when one is foraged. There, you also have the Water Fiend Familiar, and this isn't beneficial for gaining extra XP, but it can be useful to catch more fish. It does have a 5% chance to duplicate a fish caught. 
Now, urns and skill chompas are also quite um, important and useful with fishing. The urns, of course, they are exceptional. You do have the five different types of urns. Um, and the best urn being the decorated fishing urn. Um, so as you can see, it does require 9,500 fishing XP to fill. And then once you do fill it, you will gain an additional 1,900 XP. So basically, you can look at this as just a 20% XP boost when training the skill. So if you do have these urns with you, um, it will just be an exceptional uh, option and it will boost your fishing XP per hour uh, by quite a bit. You also have these skill chompas. Uh, these give plus 10% XP when you successfully catch a fish. And then they'll also give 5% of the XP if you are unsuccessful. So these two are really useful to use. The only downside is that they do cost a bit um, in order to actually uh, have. Um, so that's the only downside to it, um, but it will give you some extra XP. You also have the Crystallize and the Light Form uh, Curses. So they are unlocked from the Light Within quest and they do require 88 magic. You also need six water runes, six fire, six chaos, and six soul runes to cast the spell, um, which is crystallize. So crystallize, it can be cast on a fishing spot to increase the fishing experience gained from it by 50%. It will prevent the player um, from gaining any resources from the spot and then using crystallize with the light form prayer will increase the efficient XP to plus 87.5%. Now you also do have two different uh, fishing rods that are extremely helpful. You have the crystal fishing rod. It can be unlocked by exchanging 3000 crystal urchin points at the Priftonus waterfall shop. It requires 93 fishing, 90 agility, 90 range, and 90 strength to create. And it will give you a five or a plus five percent chance to catch fish in fishing spots where rods are needed. There's also Tavia's fishing rod. This is a sort of legendary fishing rod that you can obtain, um, and it does cost cost uh, quite a bit on the Grand Exchange, about 1.5 billion coins. Um, and it is a hero item that grants a 10% increased chance of catching fish. It can be found after locating the Red Uncharted Island map from Deep Sea Fishing, or it can be purchased from the Grand Exchange for that approximate 1.5 billion coins. Before I jump into each of the different methods, you can train fishing through completing quests. There are a variety of different quests where you will get some pretty good fishing XP. Um, some of these quests don't require a fishing level, so you could start off uh, training fishing that way. Um, for example, the quest Sea Slug and the quest Beneath Cursed Tides would be a pretty good way to start off training fishing. Um, since these quests give 7,000 fishing XP about and then about 5,000 for the Beneath Cursed Tides. Um, but uh, if you are looking to, at training fishing through questing, here are all of the quests that you can complete. So starting off at level 1 fishing, you will want to start fishing some raw crayfish. The best spot to do this is in Berthorpe. Um, you can just fish at the fishing location here. I would probably recommend just dropping the crayfish if you want to be as efficient as possible. Um, but if you are looking to keep them, the bank is just up north, so you could do that as well. You should expect to get around 11,500 XP per hour doing this, um, but you should be able to get all the way up to level 20 in about 25 minutes. So from levels 20 all the way up to level 70, you are going to be fishing at this spot, at the Barbarian Village. From levels 20 to 30, you will only be getting some raw trout. However, once you reach level 30 fishing, you'll also be able to get some raw salmon as well. Now the XP per hour does scale here depending on your level. At level 20, you should expect around 17k XP per hour. 
And then once you do reach level 69, you should be able to achieve about 57k XP per hour. Also, there is one pretty good tip that I have for you if you are doing this method. If you do drag the raw salmon over to your action bar, um, you can simply keybind that. So by clicking um, R, for example, on my action bar, it will drop all of that raw salmon. And the same can be done for the raw trout as well. So this is just a easy way to drop the fish as fast as possible since that is what you will want to be doing here since it, since it is quite far away from a bank. There is a pretty good method that you can do at level 68 fishing which is much more AFK which I will show you guys next. At level 68 fishing you will have access to one of the best AFK fishing methods there is. Um, which is fishing the magnetic minnows. So you can start this at level 68 fishing. It is located at the deep sea hub um, and it is going to be located in the southeast corner of it. Um, basically you will start fishing from any of these uh, fishing locations here, these minnow shoals. Um, and the way that makes it AFK is that the uh, magnetic minnows, they are stackable. So you don't need to drop them. You don't need to put them in the bank. The only thing you need to do for this method is focus on where the fishing locations are going to. At level 70 fishing, you will want to go back to the barbarian village and you'll want to be doing the fly fishing again. This time you will want to be using the crystallized spell just to get the extra XP. So as I mentioned, the crystallized spell, it does give you plus 50% more XP, but if you do activate the light form prayer, um, then you will get 87.5% uh, more XP. So this method is amazing in terms of XP per hour. You can gain upwards of 118,000 XP per hour if you are at level 99. At level 70, you should expect something around 90 to 100k XP per hour. And honestly, this is probably your best fishing method all the way up to level 93. Um, so the crystallized spell, it is a really important one to get if you are looking to train fishing efficiently. Now, if you don't have the light form prayer and the crystallized spell, you will want to be catching the leaping sturgeon as well as the leaping trout and leaping salmon. You can catch these fish up by the Braxtorian Falls. Um, now, it does require the barbarian training to have been completed and you will obtain it throughout the mini quest. Um, and overall, this, uh, this fishing method, it will allow you to gain around 63,000 XP per hour. You will only want to do this method up until level 72, um, because then you'll be able to go to Priftinus to do a better method if you don't have the crystallized spell. At level 72 to 93, you will be able to start fishing at uh, Menaphos. So um, you will only want to do this if you do not have the crystallize uh, spell. Again, if you uh, have it at level 70 fishing, you will want to be doing that um, at the Barbarian Village. Um, that way you will be able to get that 118,000 XP per hour. But um, fishing at uh, Menaphos is also pretty good as well. You should be able to get around 85,000 XP per hour at most, um, depending on your fishing level. So it is a pretty good spot to fish. You also do have a bank chest nearby if you are looking to keep the fish that you are fishing. Um, uh, but overall, you will want to do this until level 93. Um, and then you'll be able to go to the Priftinus Waterfall. At level 93, you will be able to start fishing at the Priftinus Waterfall. This is a really great spot to fish since the fishing spots do not move. So in a way, it can be fairly AFK. Um, and the XP per hour here is pretty great as well. As you can see, the crystal sea urchins um, that you are going to be uh, fishing, they are stackable, so you don't need to drop them or 
deposit them in the bank. Um, so that this is a really good method that you can do all the way up to level 99 since it is fairly AFK and the XP is pretty good. So the base rate uh, of the fishing XP is around 130,000 XP per hour, um, but with the buffs it can go all the way up to about 200,000 XP per hour. So this is an awesome method of training fishing, uh, mostly because it is AFK, um, and I will be going into the next method, which is the most click-intensive fishing method that you can do, um, and that will begin at level 94. So at level 94, you will be able to start doing the fishing frenzy. You can do this all the way up to level 99 since it is the fastest fishing XP in the game. Um, but it is going to be quite click intensive. As you can see, the fishing spots, they move quite rapidly. Um, and as soon as you catch one fish, um, you will be moving on to the next spot. You can also see that you don't actually get any fish from this. Um, you will be getting a streak and a bonus, which will increase your XP from uh, the uh, mini game or the training method. Um, basically, the more you do, the more XP you will gain. So if you are doing it for a while, your XP bonus will be much higher. So the longer you do it, of course, the more XP per hour you'll gain. And speaking of the XP per hour, um, you can get over 285,000 XP per hour doing this method. Um, as I mentioned, it is much better than all of the previous methods, um, and it is just quite click intensive. So if you are someone who is um, looking for a more AFK method, um, then maybe uh, you would prefer the uh, Prifnidus Waterfall method a bit more than this one. Um, but this is the better uh, XP per hour. Now, aside from all of these methods, there are a few alternative methods that you can do to train fishing. The first one is by creating one of these divine fishing bubbles. So the best one is the divine rock tail bubble. You will require level 90 fishing in order to use this. Um, but uh, basically you can do this once per day or at least make one once per day um, and when you fish out of it you will uh, rapidly fish raw rock tail um, which you will get um, XP quite fast from. Um, now the only problem is you aren't able to do this very much every day um, but if you are looking for sort of a daily money making but if you are looking for sort of a daily training method for fishing, then this is a great one that you can use. The next alternative fishing method that you can do is the giant oyster. So if you go to Wizard Myrtle outside of the Wizard Tower, you will be able to dive. Um, you will need to have completed the Beneath Cursed Tides in order to do this. Um, but this mini game is a monthly D&D. Um, you can actually get a clue scroll reward each time you do it or each time you check it um, per month. Um, so that is a bit exciting, but uh, you can also get some really great fishing XP doing this as well. So at level 99, you will be getting 6,966 fishing XP per attempt when fishing at the seaweed. Um, you will do this 30 times, giving a total of 200 and 8,980 XP. So this is an awesome method to do every month um, when you are looking to train your fishing level. Um, I highly recommend doing it um, not only for the fishing XP but also you get that clue scroll reward each month as well. And so anyway guys, those are all of the best fishing methods that you can use to train your fishing all the way up to level 99 or even level 120. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more RuneScape 3 content. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Peace.